all right so please please if you like that video press that like button you don't know how the, uh, much that helps me and subscribe if you want to see more videos of that kind i do a lot of great content actually today you are looking at an 800 dollars rx 6700 xt gaming pc from amd now getting into the benchmarks this is a pretty capable gaming pc playing games like apex legends at 240 frames per second you can play call of duty warzone at around 200 frames per second a lot of games you can play at 4k a game like one of the favorite games to a lot of people valorant you could play at 400 to 500 frames per second fortnite you can get 240 frames per second if you wanted to play a game like cyberpunk 2077 you'll hit it at 4k easily so that's a pretty capable 4k gaming pc and 1080p even 1440p for only a hundred dollars which gives you an idea of how great gaming pcs are nowadays so yeah let's get to the ports and the cpu we're looking at the amd ryzen 5 5600 now the reason i went with this cpu that one it goes for only 150 dollars in uic 160 dollars on amazon this is a six core 12 threaded cpu so it goes for it that this is a very good cpu for you know cpu intensive tasks it's based on the zen 3 platform when it comes to the performance compared to the i5 12400F, it's a tiny bit better, but when you are pairing it with the RX 6700 XT, both GPUs perform the same actually. Now, the only caveat with a CPU of that sort that the upgrade path isn't the best, but you can upgrade all the way up to a Ryzen 7, I believe, 5800X3D, which is the fastest gaming CPU right now. But you know, it's not so viable when it comes to the upgrade path, but when it comes to the performance, it's a great PC and a great CPU. And the board we're looking at an ASRock A520M-HDV, and since this is an AM4 platform that's not so upgradable, I didn't want to pay a lot of money, but if you want something that's better, you can get the Gigabyte B550M-DS3 h and this is the board that i own right now and uh, the difference will be an overclocking and an extra two ram slots for the ram we're looking at two eight gigabyte sticks of ddr4 3200 megahertz ram non-overclockable cl60 and this one goes for under 50 dollars but the reason i went with that one because uh the budget is tight you can go with 32 gigs if you want to but that would add an extra 35 dollars i think so yeah i'd really leave that to you but 32 gigs seems to be pretty appealing actually to fit in a pc of that sort so yeah let's go with 32 gigs so you will not have any drawbacks when it comes to the ram requirement and the ssd we're looking at a one terabyte ssd and one terabyte seems to be a lot of space this one goes for around 65 dollars it's an m.2 ssd so it's compatible any board actually from amd one terabyte seems to be a lot of space so yeah i wouldn't go wrong with it at all fast boot up times and loading speeds now the gpu we are looking at the amd rx 6700 xt now you can get this brand new for around 450 dollars or you can get it used from ebay for around 400 dollars I would save the extra $50 uh, and get it for that price. This is one of the best 1080p gaming GPUs right now. When it comes to the performance when you compare it to something like an RTX 3070, it's trading blows with the RTX 3070 as you can see right now. So this is a really great GPU when it comes to the performance. It's a 12 gigabyte GPU actually. The only caveat is that it doesn't have NVN encoder and it doesn't have ray tracing capabilities. But other than that, a lot of other games like a 1080p, 1440p, 4K, you are getting really great value for the money so that's why i really love this gpu and there isn't any gpu from nvidia that actually performs the same as it for the same price now the case and power supply the case we're looking at a game ds case that goes for 60 dollars i have a game ds case myself you're looking at it right now uh, in the video you've seen it in the first at the beginning of the video actually so yeah it's an okay case it gets the job done looks really good uh, it's actually a bit heavy not the he lightest thing in the world and the power supply we're looking at an evga 500 to 550 watt power supply 80 plus uh the reason i'm up with that one because the pc doesn't consume the most power it consumes power but not a lot of it and 500 to 550 watt power supply will get the job done so yeah that's been it guys if you like that we'll press on that like button if you want to see moves with that can kind of subscribe see you in the next one and peace